My child, there is a lull that has come over the body, and the movers and the shakers see it. They cry out to me and sound the alarm over and over and over again. I see the lull. I feel the distance I haven't written down long ago. The complacent place, the follow the leader mentality, no matter if it is right or wrong, is present in fallen man. I make adjustments to awaken my people, and I allow certain things to happen to jar them back into reality. Reality is eternity, hell or heaven, and you must fight the lull from the dragon smoke. Awaken and arise, O Gideon's army, for the alert ones are few, for I am more than enough. The battle is mine, and I have heard your prayer. I have seen you stand against the complacent in the land. I have blessed you in a separate place, a place I call holy, and I come to you and dine with you in the presence of mine enemy. I will open the eyes of those who must see, and I will distribute courage and boldness among those who see. I will let revival come to you, for you hunger for me and not another. This is a day of great relief, for I have seen you, I have heard you, and I have broken it. Forever and ever you flow in my power and glory and honor, for I am in you and you are in me in perfect harmony. My people have grown complacent and lethargic, content to follow the crowd rather than stand firm in their convictions. They have allowed the world to lull them into a false sense of security, forgetting that the battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. The movers and shakers among them see this lull and cry out to me, sounding the alarm, but too many of my people have become deaf to the urgency of the hour. I have seen this coming, and I have been making adjustments to awaken my people. I have allowed certain trials and tribulations to come upon them, not to punish them but to jolt them out of their complacency and draw them back to me. For the reality is that eternity hangs in the balance and they must fight against the seductive smoke of the dragon that seeks to lull them into a false sense of security. Arise! O oh, Gideon's army! The alert ones are few, but I am more than enough. The battle is mine, and I have heard your prayers. I have seen you stand against the complacent in the land. I have blessed you in a separate place, a place I call holy, and I come to you and dine with you in the presence of mine enemy. I will open the eyes of those who must see, and I will distribute courage and boldness among those who are willing to stand. I will let revival come to you, for you hunger for me and not another. This is a day of great relief, for I have seen you, I have heard you, and I have broken the hold of the enemy. Forever and ever you will flow in my power and glory and honor, for I am in you and you are in me in perfect harmony. The complacent and the follow the leader mentality have taken root in the hearts of my people and they have forgotten the urgency of the spiritual battle that rages all around them. They have become content to go through the motions, to attend their church services and partake in their religious rituals without ever truly engaging with me or allowing me to transform their lives. But I will not allow this lull to continue unchecked. I have seen the cries of my people, and I have heard their prayers. I am ready to pour out my spirit in a mighty way, 
to awaken the sleeping giants and to raise up an army of bold and courageous warriors who will stand firm against the wiles of the enemy. I am calling forth Gideon's army, those who are willing to take a stand and fight for the truth, regardless of the cost. I am looking for those who will not be swayed by the crowd, who will not be lulled into a false sense of security by the siren call of the world. I am looking for those who will hunger and thirst for me, and who will not be satisfied with anything less than my presence and power. I will open the eyes of those who have become blind to the spiritual realities around them, and I will pour out my spirit in a way that will shake the very foundations of their complacency. I will distribute courage and boldness among those who are willing to step out in faith, and I will let revival come to those who are hungry for me and not another. This is a day of great relief, for I have seen you, I have heard you, and I have broken the hold of the enemy over your lives. Forever and ever you will flow in my power and glory and honor, for I am in you and you are in me in perfect harmony. No longer will you be content to follow the crowd, but you will stand firm in your convictions, knowing that the battle is mine and that I am more than enough to see you through. I am calling you out of the complacent place, out of the follow the leader mentality, and into a place of holiness and intimacy with me. I want to dine with you in the presence of your enemies, to show them that my power and my glory are greater than anything they can muster. I want to open your eyes to the spiritual realities that are all around you and to pour out my spirit in a way that will ignite a fire within your hearts that cannot be extinguished. Rise up, O Gideon's army! The alert ones are few, but I am more than enough. The battle is mine, and I have heard your prayers. I have seen you stand against the complacent in the land. I have blessed you in a separate place, a place I call holy and I come to you and dine with you in the presence of mine enemy. I will let revival come to you, for you hunger for me and not another. This is a day of great relief, for I have seen you, I have heard you, and I have broken the hold of the enemy over your lives. Forever and ever you will flow in my power and glory and honor, for I am in you and you are in me in perfect harmony. No longer will you be content to follow the crowd, but you will stand firm in your convictions, knowing that the battle is mine and that I am more than enough to see you through. I am calling you out of the complacent place, out of the follow the leader mentality, and into a place of holiness and intimacy with me. I want to dine with you in the presence of your enemies, to show them that my power and my glory are greater than anything they can muster. I am ready to pour out my spirit in a mighty way, to awaken the sleeping giants and to raise up an army of bold and courageous warriors who will stand firm against the wiles of the enemy. I am looking for those who will not be swayed by the crowd, who will not be lulled into a false sense of security by the siren call of the world. I am looking for those who will hunger and thirst for me, and who will not be satisfied with anything less than my presence and power. This is a day of great relief for I have seen you, I have heard you, and I have broken the hold of the enemy over your lives. Forever and ever you will flow in my power and glory and honor, for I am in you and you are in me in perfect harmony. 
No longer will you be content to follow the crowd, but you will stand firm in your convictions, knowing that the battle is mine and that I am more than enough to see you through. Rise up, O Gideon's army! The alert ones are few, but I am more than enough. I am calling you out of the complacent place, out of the follow the leader mentality, and into a place of holiness and intimacy with me. I want to dine with you in the presence of your enemies, to show them that my power and my glory are greater than anything they can muster. I am ready to pour out my spirit in a mighty way, to awaken the sleeping giants and to raise up an army of bold and courageous warriors who will stand firm against the wiles of the enemy. This is a day of great relief, for I have seen you, I have heard you, and I have broken the hold of the enemy over your lives. Forever and ever you will flow in my power and glory and honor, for I am in you and you are in me in perfect harmony. No longer will you be content to follow the crowd, but you will stand firm in your convictions, knowing that the battle is mine and that I am more than enough to see you through my child. There is a lull that has come over the body and the movers and the shakers see it. They cry out to me, sounding the alarm over and over again. I see this lull, I feel the distance and I have written it down long ago. The complacent state, the tendency to follow the leader regardless of right or wrong, resides in fallen man. I make adjustments to awaken my people and I allow things to happen to jar them back into reality. This reality is eternity, a choice between hell or heaven. You must fight against the lull induced by the dragon's smoke. Awaken and arise, O Gideon's army, for the alert ones are few, but I assure you, I am more than enough. The battle is mine, and I have heard your prayers. I've seen you stand against the complacency in the land. I have blessed you in a separate place, a place I call holy. I come to you and dine with you in the presence of mine enemy. I will open the eyes of those who must see, and I will distribute courage and boldness among those with sight. Revival will come to you, for you hunger for me and not another. This is a day of great relief. I have seen you, I have heard you, and I have broken the bonds of complacency forever. You will flow in my power, glory, and honor, for I am in you and you are in me in perfect harmony. The warning had been sent long ago, as the sacred texts foretold this very moment. The people's tendency to fall into routine, ignoring the whispers of the spirit, needed to be addressed. The sagacity of elders and prophets wasn't enough to keep the faithful from becoming like sleepwalkers. The cries of the remnant, the true seekers who still strove for my presence and guidance, have reached my ears. I hear their pleas, I feel their yearning, and I recognize the fervor burning in their hearts. I look at my chosen ones, those who dare to stand in the face of the dragon's smoke, not succumbing to the intoxicating lull it spreads. This is the army of Gideon, small in number but mighty in spirit, favored not by human standards but by divine intervention. I say to you, Gideon's army, rise up, for even though your numbers are few, with me you are more than enough. You are called upon to break the chains of complacency not just within yourselves but across the land. Your mission is not merely to exist but to thrive. 
to battle against apathy, to be a light in the overwhelming darkness, a clarion call to the sleeping masses. Your cries have not gone unheard. Your steadfast prayers have reached heaven's gates, and I, your Lord, have taken note. I see your stand against the tide of indifference, and I reward your perseverance with blessings. I have carved out a sanctuary for you, a holy place separate from the chaos that envelops the world. It's here that I meet you, sharing in your victories and comforting you in your tribulations. I dine with you as you stand in the enemy's territory, turning your moments of vulnerability into displays of divine power. I will give sight to the blind and courage to the fearful. Revival will be your mantle, for your hunger for me surpasses the appetites for worldly pleasures and vanities. In this great day of divine intervention, I've shattered the chains that bound you to a cycle of complacency. Forever and ever my power flows through you, and my glory and honor shine upon you. You are at the forefront of a divine symphony, resonating in perfect harmony with me. In this unity, strength and grace become your allies. Together as one, we shall usher in an era of spiritual rejuvenation and unparalleled devotion. 